We're clearly in a epidemic because the quality of our diets is steadily declining. About 75% of us are unhealthy, and that's not the way it's supposed to be. Because the primary driver is diet, it's also the way in which we need to find a way out. There's really nothing worse than feeling really isolated and alone and like you're the only person doing something. It's hard to make dietary changes when you've been eating a poor diet for your whole life and nobody's told you, hey, this is actually putting you at increased risk of disease. I think that a lot of people don't realize, I didn't realize what I was doing to my own body. For me, I'm starting to realize it's an investment that you have to make or else you end up with, with this. These are day-to-day, hour-to-hour diseases that create a serious burden on individuals and families. So we're all having a different level of motivation to do something different. I'm going to really put my all into it because it's kind of like my last ditch effort. When we give our bodies that chance to be healthy, our bodies take it. The magic begins. I no longer uh, need my tilt recline wheelchair. It was the thing that really jump-started me on the road to recovery. I'm thriving even better than I was before I was ever diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. We don't need to just drug ourselves up to not feel bad. We can actually feel amazing. If you stay with it, you can get off medication after medication after medication. I feel really empowered and really excited to get up every day and try new things. The choices we make around food are actually the one thing that I can count on is going to make me healthy. You know, once you start to see success, then you start to get the motivation and it's easy to keep it going. It's amazing how quickly the body responds when it has the tools it needs and I think the tools that are the most accessible for the body come in food form. And then we don't have to wrestle so much with what we're going to do with all these people who are going to get chronic disease because chronic disease will disappear if we have the will to do it.